So anytime we go away to anything horror related, we end up spending a considerable amount of money. Um, and this time was no different. Um, now we're just going to go through a few of the things uh, that we got and named off a few companies that were, that were in attendance. Yeah, so um, it was a great place to network with different businesses um, that do various different things within uh, horror. So the first thing I'm going to show you because it is like the coolest item that we got, which is um, my own little Audrey 2. So Little Shop of Horrors is a fantastic musical. Um, it's coming back, well it's touring around the UK now anyway, uh, sort of the Salvador Theatre Company. Um, so that is just awesome. Little Audrey too. Let's just hope it doesn't want my blood and then takes over the world. So this was um, made by Bloomin Horrors. So that's a shout out to them. Um, you can look them up online, and uh, I definitely think uh, get one of these, but don't feed the plants. <laughs> yeah, it was quite nice. They had all different sizes, so you, if you don't have room for a big Audrey, you can have a little Audrey. And they also had a pinhead style one, and I just think <laughs> it's just so clever and creative how you can like make different variations of um, this character from Little Shop, so yeah. For those who are afraid of clowns, um, Twisty's about to come out from American Horror Story, so I'll just do that warning and then I'll bring him out. Look at him, he's insane. He's really pretty, I love him. So I'm one of those people that was quite a big fan of Freak Show. It is probably one of my top favourite seasons of American Horror Story. I don't get all the hate whatsoever, I totally binged watch it, but Twisty is just like the most frightening, brutal character. And um, But then you hear like more about his background and things and it, get, it gets really, really interesting. So um, there was a Twisty cosplayer as well. There was a lot of clowns this year in general. Um, so yeah. so the, this is actually from a place called Square Orange Art, which you can look up. Um, it was It's a, a print taken from an oil painting, and the actual oil painting is fantastic as well. Isn't it? Definitely. It's, it just basically captured the character. Like I admire a lot of art. I am not artistic myself, but um, with horror, there's so much like great stuff out there. Like Artwork is part and parcel of being a fan of horror, from VHS covers to posters to everything. And I think... Um, yeah, this I just couldn't resist being a big fan of American Horror Story. On the subject of posters as well, I haven't got it because it's in a very safe place where no one can touch it. Uh, I managed to get hold of a very, very large um, Astron 6 Father's Day poster, and I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I had to have it. And uh, Thomas Hodge, the artist who designed it, very kindly signed it as well. So that was excellent. That was from uh, the, dude uh, the Dude Designs. Yeah, so be sure to check that out. He does a lot of posters of more recent horror films, but makes them look like a more retro style. I yeah. uh, absolutely love his artwork. So we're moving on to something that's quite popular and very much part of fandom in general, which are Funko Pops. So um, I couldn't resist. I had to get the two together. And this is Sam and Dean Winchester from the absolutely long-running CW show Supernatural. One of my favourite horror shows on TV. I still love it to this day. I don't care that it's on its 11th season. I think it is still consistently good and uh, it's got such a cult following to keep it going. Um, if they'd had Castiel as well, oh my god. If they'd had Bobby, if they'd had Crowley, like I'd have a lot more to show you right now. But for the time being, to add to my collection, we have Sam and Dean Winchester. So we also stopped by. Um, and got some clothing which is what you need and we stopped by the headshot clothing uh, thing and we managed to get two similar designs but to reflect our our differing tastes in this matter um, yours has got a story about a lake survivor found and I've got something about uh, a young babysitter surviving the night goes by the name of Laurie Strode. Yeah, Some maybe. people might have heard of it. I maybe, don't know. Yeah, so um, these are pretty cool. Um, yeah. I love the design, I love that it's a newspaper article. It's um, just like reminds you of like what's so awesome about these films. I just love everything about this t-shirt. A really nice touch on this one I noticed is that the story is by Janet Lee and I thought that was really good fun. That is a re really nice touch to and it. 
And we also got, and with that, we got a print of, of what's actually on the t-shirt, on yours anyway. Um, yeah. So that's quite nice because you can see it a bit better in the shape of the mask and everything. Yeah. That's good. And it's just an, an extra little special gift there. So definitely so. check out Headshot Clothing because they, they have some really, really lovely things there. And I also bought another clothing item yesterday, um, which I will show you now. <laughs> which couldn't resist seeing like a total Jason fan girl. Like all my stuff is literally five thirteen. So I'm just <laughs> gonna say there's a pattern forming somewhere. Yeah, so Friday the thirteenth, Jason takes Manhattan. Manhattan is crossed out and it said Jason takes my heart. And I was lucky to buy this one because it was the last one they had in stock, so I was really pleased. That and it cost me about thirteen pounds. So again, that was an absolute bargain. And um, another cool store we came by was this one, Sinister Selection, which was a cake making um, store. So um, they had cupcakes with um, all like different horror uh, like characters and logos on them. And then um, they displayed some of the cakes. So um, if you can see there, there's like a leather face one that is really cool. Then on the back of it, <laughs> it's got Janine Makes Cakes, which um, is the non-horror side of um, their business. So be sure to check them out. So um, that's Janine Makes Cakes, and you can find her on Facebook and Twitter and everything. So that was really, really cool. Yeah, we stopped by the Hellbound Media uh, stall as well. Uh, um, so if you want to check them out, you can go to hellboundmedia.co.uk and check out their selection of comics and everything there. Yeah, and of course, when, um, I know it's the summer, but it doesn't feel like summer because the weather's terrible, but you've got to think about Christmas. You've got to think about what's going to look good on my Christmas tree this year. So we went to this store, which is Funky Junkie Monkey and got these awesome blood splattered Christmas baubles. So um, when people come over our house at Christmas, like, I'm sorry, what can I say? If you're friends with us, you know we're weird, you know that. So so our tree will have these beautiful glittery blood splattered Christmas baubles. And I love glitter, I love blood, so I, I can't complain there. Um, we um, have bought um, items from the store before as they are always at celluloid screams in October. So be sure to check this out. So that's the Funky Junkie Monkey. So it's, uh, there we go. Yeah. And a store which I think we basically haunted all weekend, I think that's a fair assumption that, that we made, was White Trash Treasures, um, which is a jewellery store. And Hayley very kindly bought me a little ghost face cameo. Isn't it cute? And I got myself the ring version, and it's kind of like... This is where we get a bit like soppy, which we not normally are, but it's like basically a uh, token of friendship. It's like when you're little and you have those like hearts that you put together and things like that. <laughs> it's, our, it's our version. Serial killers. Yeah, serial killers. <laughs> no, nothing cements a friendship like serial killers. So that's what we got from there. And also, I purchased. Uh, yeah. I purchased an uh, American Horror Story pendant as well um, with Evan Peters in it and it's um, his character Tate from the first season American Horror Story Murder House. So he was quite um, an interesting character. So I, uh, I'm glad that I've got Evan Peters around my neck close to my heart because it's the closest I'm ever going to get to him. <laughs> and what's really nice about White Trash Treasures and you can of course order online from them is they give you a lovely little coffin which I believe has sweets in it, but I can't bear to open the coffee. No. I'll keep that it's too pretty. <laughs> and um, we also went to a store which is Dead Mouse Productions. Um, so if you have seen Leviathan, uh, the making of Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2, they were behind that and they're currently working on a documentary about Fright Night. Yeah. Um, and the sequel, Fight Night 2, and they were saying there's a lot of like mystery around the production and a lot of really dark things that are, like, are going to be told in that documentary. So um, we'll hopefully cover that when it comes out and uh, talk a bit more about, yeah. about that. So if you check these guys out, so Dead Mouse Productions, uh, their Facebook is Cult Screenings UK, there's Dead Mouse UK, and then Twitter's at Dead Mouse UK or at Cult Screenings. There's, to there so be sure to check those people out as well okay so that seems to be it i thought there was 
I certainly feel like I've spent more money, but there we are. <laughs> uh, we are now going to close off uh, these videos from Horrorcon UK 2016, and hopefully we'll be back for 2017 to see more cosplayers, more stalls, everything like that, more guests. Yeah. So tell us what you think in the comments below. Would you like to see more videos from us like this, that are haul videos that would be like horror DVDs, us talking about films we've just watched, what our reactions were. Um, or if you'd like to see any more like item videos, just please comment below, let us know, and um, you can follow us on uh, Twitter, at Ghostface Girls, and you can like us on Facebook, and that's slash Ghostface Girls. You can also listen to us on podomatic.com, and that's also Ghostface Girls. Thank you very much for watching. We are the Ghostface Girls, if you haven't have guessed.